What up, though? This is Kurt Steele of the Die Hard Damn Podcast, and I'm here with a quick commentary update. Now, on these updates, I normally don't give my opinion. I just give you the news and keep it moving. But today is different. I want to address some Lions fans out there that are frustrating me. The ones that I'm talking about are the ones who are bad-mouthing Calvin Johnson. They've been doing it for the last few years, ever since he retired. So, to you guys, I say this. Why badmouth Calvin Johnson? A lot of people are in an uproar over the latest comments he made on the DB room with Wilbur Quinn. He said he wanted to be drafted by the Atlanta Falcons. What's the problem? Calvin Johnson's from Georgia. He played his college ball in Atlanta at Georgia Tech. The teams were in different places. If you look at the teams, the Falcons were on the rise. They had Michael Vick. They were 7-9, and nine and they were competitive. The Detroit Lions were 3-13, and 13 and John Kidden was their quarterback. This made sense. A lot of people that are Lions fans are from Michigan. Why wouldn't you want to play for your hometown team? So why wouldn't you, if you have the opportunity, want to play at home? Just makes sense. Calvin Johnson played his heart out for Detroit. He played on seven losing teams his nine years in the NFL. But what did he do? He was a consummate professional, all pro, made multiple Pro Bowls, and he was on the face of Madden. He was a Madden cover athlete. And he was one of the top players in the league for the NFL 100, I would say at least four or five years in a row. And he was in the top two or three uh, at some of those points in those lists. So why bash Calvin Johnson? Calvin Johnson had Detroit football on the map, even though he played for losing squads. So I would say, let's thank Calvin Johnson. Hey man, we appreciate your time in Detroit, leading the Detroit Lions in whatever facet you could. And to the Lions organization, I will say this. Please, men, the fences with Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson made the team more money on losing teams than anybody else. Ticket sales, merchandise, people were coming just to see Calvin Johnson play. So that $3 million, just give it to him. He earned it. He earned way more than what his contract, uh, uh, excuse me, the money in his contract. So please just mend that fence. So, one more last thing, please, please, please take the time out to appreciate the players we have on our squad. And hopefully Sheila Forehand will build a winner going forward. So this is Kurt Steele of the Die Hard Damn Podcast. Thank you for listening to this commentary update. And as always, I will holler at you real soon.